So we look back to a family-owned manufacturing company. Uh, they were in the packaging space and really things were going sideways. Um, revenue was negative. They had laid off most of their team staff trying to figure out what do we do next? So they brought on an interim CEO. We deployed an executive from our red team who literally was out there within days and was speaking with everyone on the floor to figure out what are the issues at play. Um, within 90 days, he had things completely turned around. The factory was up running again. Um, you know, the, the place was bustling. And ultimately, it was that leader that was able to bring that company back to profitability. What, uh, what were some of the things he did? Well, he did, a, he did a bunch of things. One of them was, and those are gonna sound obvious, but to a lot of your listeners, he actually listened to the, to the workers on, on the floor. It's an amazing idea, isn't it? <laughs> it it's huge. It's, yeah. um, we keep on citing examples of fixers in the book, fixer leaders, where the first thing they'll do is just go listen to everyone on the floor. Don't go to the, the, the former CEO who screwed it up <laughs> yeah. You know, don't go to the owner who's, whose hair's on fire, you, you know, whatever. Go talk to the men and women running the machines and the janitors. And, and, and he literally did this in the, the brilliance of, of this particular leader. Also, he spoke five or six languages. He even, I mean, there's a, a, a story we love where there was... Uh, a woman, she was originally from India. She didn't really speak much English. She'd been working in the plant many years. He knew some Hindi. <laughs> he just went up to her in India. Got me beat on that one. It was like this, and 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 he just kind of made some reverence to her as a human being. And at some point, she started crying, and she said no one in management had ever talked to her, ever, as, as someone on the factory floor. 